3.3 percentile ranking. Now what a percentile is, it's a, it's a number from 1 to 99 that shows what percentage of values in a data set are lower than the one you are looking at. Percentile rank describes what percentage of the data is lower, that, lower than what you're looking at. So for example, if I, if I have a piece of data that's in the 75th percentile, what that means is 75% of the data is lower or smaller. A couple things I want you to notice. When I'm listing what percentile it is, I did not put a percent. I say it is a 75th percentile. This percent merely talks about what percentage of the data is lower. Let's take a look at what the formula looks like. It's really quite simple. Percentile rank equals B over N times 100. Uh, N is the total number of items. And B is the number that are below what you are looking at. Number below your number. Uh, a couple things I need to point out. What a percentile rank does not tell you is does not tell you how many are above because it also doesn't tell you how many are exactly the same size. All the ones that are the same size and above are lumped into the same category. Percentile rank only shows you the total number below. So before we get into calculating it, let's take a look at a couple of things here. Here's my oldest son. He's 13 years old, 105 pounds, and 165 centimeters tall. So, Here's a common place where we use percentiles. When we look at his height, he is in the 87th percentile. So if I compare him to other 13-year-olds in North America, he is taller than 87% of them. So he's taller than 87%. When I look at his weight, that means he is heavier than 58%. Okay, so it's a it just compares them to the other data points in the particular group. So here I have a data set. We've got a set of numbers they want to know what is the percentile rank of the number 8. Now you always have to put your numbers into order except in this case that's already been done for you. So I am looking at the number 8. Remember our formula is percentile rank equals the number below divided by the total number of items times 100. So there's only one number below. The 6 is the only one below. There's a total of 10 items, times that by 100. In this case, my percentile rank of the number 8 is the 10th percentile. What does it mean? 10% of the data is below. All right, let's do a question here. If 2,000 people wrote a college entrance exam and 385 scored lower than Peter, what was Peter's percentile rank? So I can start putting all this information directly into my formula. Percentile rank equals number below divided by the total number times 100. 385 below, there were 2,000 people in total, times that by 100, ends up being the 19th percentile.
Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind is we don't, or we round it off to the nearest unit. We don't do decimals. Round to the nearest unit. Let's keep on going. So here I have another question. Now this one is set up a little bit differently. It's an outdoor sporting store, goods store in Fort McMurray, Alberta, sells gloves of different sizes. The table below indicates the number of pairs of each size sold in the past month. This is set up just a little bit different. What that means is 10 pairs of, of size 6.5 were sold, 25 pairs of size 7 were sold, 57 pairs of uh, 7.5 size were sold, and so on and so on. So Donette bought herself a pair of size 7.5 gloves. What is the percentile rank of her hand size? So if we go back to our formula, percentile rank equals number below divided by the total number times 100. Before I can do that, I have to do a couple of uh, calculations. First one. Let's take a look at how many are below. So she bought a pair of size 7.5. So the per for number below, I'm going to have to add this number and this number because 10 pairs were sold that are 6.5. 25 pairs were sold that were 7. We've got 35 pairs of gloves were sold that are smaller than her. I also need to know what's my total. And my total is all these numbers put together. I've got to put this one and 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 this one. All those together so I know exactly how many gloves have been sold. When you add them all together, when we add these together, you end up with 153. Okay, let's calculate the percentile rank. equals. I've got 35 pairs below. 153 total pairs times 100. Percentile rank of that is the 23rd percentile. As we move on, we talk about Donette bought her son a pair of size 9 gloves. What's the percentile rank of that? So, first of all, my formula is percentile rank equals B over N times 100. I already know that my N equals 153. What I need to know is how many were below size 9. Let's clear this off. When I look at size 9, that's the largest size. Everything else is below it, so I have to add all of these numbers up right there. Or I could just take 153 and subtract 8. Let's do that. 153 total. 8 were the largest size. So we are looking at 145 pairs of gloves. So, percentile rank. B, there are 145 pairs of gloves sold smaller than her son's. 153 gloves in total, times that by 100. My percentile rank ends up being the 95th percentile. My answer. Question C. Explain why a percentile rank can never be 100 or greater. Now just a minute. Didn't Donette's son buy the largest size of gloves? He bought size 9s. There's nothing bigger than a size 9. So then his gloves must be bigger than everyone else's. Not really. Our formula 
uh, takes into account the number that are, or doesn't take into account the number that are the same. R B is only how many are below, and only 145 were below. Our total number is 153. This numerator over here is always going to be smaller than that number down below. What they're saying is you can't be in the hundreds percentile. It's possible in really large numbers if you are the biggest one for it to round up to the hundredth percentile, but you're not truly in that hundredth percentile. So your below number, your number below your B is never a hundred percent of the data. You are never below yourself. So your numerator is always going to be at least a little bit smaller than your denominator. Let's move on to the next question. Petra just got a diploma from Nunavut Arctic College. She's checking job postings for work in her field. And she's found the following stats for earnings. This is all around the nearest $5,000. Here's another chart where there are groups. Instead of doing it with each piece individually, it's been broken down into groups. It's an easier way to deal with large numbers of data. So Patrick gets a job that puts her in the 21st percentile in terms of salary. What is her salary? So we're going to figure out which category she falls in. Uh, what we need to do is take a look at what that 21st percentile means. 21st percentile means that she is above 21% of the people. Or 21% are lower. Okay, and we're going to use that to figure out uh, where she fits in this rank. I mean, only 21% of the people are below her, so she should be closer to the lower end. Let's figure out exactly where it fits. The first step to do is to add all of these numbers together. When we figure out a total number of people, we get 29. And if 21% make less than her, uh, let's take a look at 29 people times 21% as a decimal, so 0 0.21. We end up with 6.09, which we round off to being 6 people. earned less. All right. So six people earned less. That's all six people in this category here. She must be in that category right there. Petra must earn $30,000.